Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you all another Legendary Duelist Magical Hero Yu-Gi-Oh! Booster Box opening. After the luck of my first box pulling the Magician Soul, I decided to go and take my chances with a second booster box. Plus I'm really liking this set just with all the new support we have for all the different um, you know, main character decks uh, to offer. So I figured I'd test my luck, see maybe we can get some different ultra rares if you know, I have plenty of luck still stored up from the last box, maybe another Magician Soul. I've heard a lot of stories that it is pretty short print from what I've seen myself as well. But let's go ahead and dive right into this box and see how I do. We have, I got this one actually from a different location. So hoping, you know, if I took the one of few Magician Souls from the first person I bought the first box from, maybe my luck in favor me with the second box and obviously the wrapping is already fighting me with this one but let's go ahead and see how i do we'll start off with the left side just like before and see just how it goes so pack number one let's see how we do we have an automata pyra to start us off and i most you've already seen the uh commons so we'll just go ahead and go with the uh, foils or you know if we get a foil in that spot we have a junk converter for our first one right off the bat with the first box we didn't pull any foils for a couple packs but very very nice and we have a secret of dark magic for our first rare like i said most of you already seen the commons so unless they're notable a quick point out like i said and the fact that a good amount of them are new cards as well is interesting especially for a duelist pack we have a magician of dark illusion for our rare but yeah, definitely do want to get some blisters as well for this set, blister packs, and hopefully we can pull some good stuff from those as well, because the ratios are all over the place with the blister packs, while, you know, the booster boxes, I think, usually have a, you know, set amount. I pulled five ultras from the first box, so we'll see if we get the same amount of ultras from this box, or... If that one additional Magician Soul was, you know, the luck thrown into the box. We'll find out. There's a Utopic Future, Wing Karibo. And we've got, oh, I didn't even know they reprinted it as super rare in this pack. You know, after seeing so many boxes, I guess I just missed it with the ones I saw. But Elemental Hero Honest Neos, super rare. This might be the first time it's been super rare as well. I know it's been secret rare, gold rare, ultra rare, but super rare Honest Neos. Interesting. Definitely interesting for sure. And we have a Dodo -do Dwarf Go 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 Glove for our rare. Did not expect to see that. It definitely took me by surprise. I was looking more at the you know rarities and stuff for all the new cards i overlooked that i knew apprentice illusion magician was super rare up oh, there's our first ultra rare satellite warrior for uh the synchron deck and we have zubaba bancho gaga ga goat for our rare very cool the art just looks so awesome on satellite warrior as well and it's pretty generic i'd say just needing a uh, one non-tuner synchro monster pretty easy to accomplish in the synchro synchron deck Skyscraper reprint as well. There's our first Odd Eyes Wizard Dragon. This card eluded me to a great extent from the first box until the end. Well, you gotta love that cover art. That art of Yugi right there is just gonna, I'd say, sell the pack as well in stores because everybody loves Yugi. Chronograph Sorcerer, Onomato Pickup. And it's a new art as well. It's not like they, you know, reused a art from like the speed duel packs like they did with the last two that had Yugi on it. This is a, what I think is a whole new art to Yugi. Quick draw Synchron, halfway to forever. Spiral Flame Strike and our first Scrap Iron Signal from the box. I'm getting all the rares and commons mixed up from this one, but you know I'll just keep them all in one pile and then reorganize them after. I have the foils separated, but let's see. If I used up all my luck with the first box, that's what I'm curious. We have a Magician's Combination for our second Ultra Rare. I pulled this from the last box. I want to see a little, uh, you know, variety for all the Ultras. And another Magician of Dark Illusion as well. Because, like I said, I've already pulled Satellite Warrior as well. So if I could pull Liquid Man, that'll definitely be cool. Just a different pull at that. Doppel Warrior, Go 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 Giant. 
on a model pickup. But the biggest thing I'm looking to see is if that ratio is the same. I could have swore it was four ultras. This is all going off of, you know, the last box as well, if you're continuing to watch, which I'll have at the end of the video as well, to check out if you haven't seen the first box opening, another Dodo -do Dorf Go 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 uh, glove. <laughs> you can see the name of the rare behind the card. But like I said, just going off of that. I might be wrong. I might be going back to an Immortal Destiny box of mine afterwards to see how many uh, ultra rares I pulled. There's an Odd Eyes Wizard Dragon. But maybe it was five. Maybe I'm just not thinking clearly. We'll see. We have a generation next again for our super rare. So we already got five hollows out of the way also. Zubaba Bancho, Gaga Ga Goat for our rare. Next back. Gaga Ga Samurai. Wing Kree, but just a lot of good commons too, I've noticed. that's It's usually every so often they do that. I know that Legendary Duelist 3, the one with Kaiba on the cover, had some pretty good commons as well. We got like Dragon Shrines, some good Raid Raptor, I said Raid Raptor, Blackwing reprints as well. And this one seems to be the same. Miracle Fusion, Spiral Flame Strike, Magician of Dark Illusions are rare, but still a very, very good reprint for sure. Ones that are usable in the decks and ones that people are probably still looking for in packs coming up. Excel Synchron, that's the Synchro. We have our third, and we're still on the left side too, uh, Ultra Rare, Synchro Chase for the junk deck, and a Scrap Iron Signal. Probably one of the more easier Ultras, I'd say. Just, you know, if you're looking to build um, Synchrons from this set, that's the, you know, probably the easier one to pull compared to Heroes and Magicians especially. Dark Magician Girl again, and Perform Pal, pop her up for our rare. I think, what's hollow in this box for Perform Pals? I know the Pendulum Perform Pal Magician card is. What else though? I'm drawing a blank. Doesn't mean I want to pull it right now, but I am curious to see. And we're on to the right side. Second pack from this side. Let's see how we finish off the box. Harmonizing Magician. And perform a pal, pop her up. But yeah, oh, really good. Uh, the one ultra I haven't pulled yet is the fusion monster for Dark Magician as well. The Dark Magicians, I believe it's called. We have a favorite hero that is ultra rare, number four. And we still got plenty of packs, so maybe there is one more ultra to pull. This is for, I believe it, you know, works with uh, the Elemental Hero Flame Wingman. Also sets up Skyscraper to go for Jaden's signature move. And another Dodo -do Dorf Go 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 Glove for our rare. You know, I said Utopia previously, uh, you know, the main go-to card in this set for Yuma. But I actually think it's uh, Gagaga Magician. Uh, we have another Junk Converter. This card really does like me in this pack. And a Zubaba Bancho Gagaga -ga -ga co uh, Coat. Yep, Coat. But yeah, that's... Um, I th I'd say it's Gagaga -ga Magician. That's definitely, I would say, the more well-known card in this set. We're getting all of the uh, syllable monsters as well. That's what it seems like. Onomata Pyra and Scrap Iron Signal. But I've noticed we're through four Ultras now, and hopefully the last one. Liquid Man, or the Fusion Elemental Hero, whose name eludes me, or Magician Soul. Here's where all the luck is going. Putting all my luck into that last final pool for that. But I also used up a good amount of that luck with the Super and Ultras from the first box. Chronograph Sorcerer, Onomato Pickup. There might not be an Ultra. Maybe I just did get lucky with that fifth one, but we'll find out. In just a bit. I don't want to keep anyone waiting too long. Um, but it also adds to the fun of the box. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten packs remaining. And that's when I turn the packs to the side, is when I get serious with this box opening. But it's also me just rambling a good amount as well. Hero lives. We have a satellite synchron for our next super. It seems like there was a big gap in hollows as well with this box between that and the last one. But yeah, we pulled between this box and the last box four jump converters. So that's a pretty high count super rare I've pulled, especially since there are some supers I haven't even pulled yet. And oh, nope, I thought that might have been it. Dodo -do Dorf, go, 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 glove for our rare. Definitely winding down though.
halfway to forever. Skyscraper, another Odd Eyes Wizard Dragon. Okay, so that definitely takes away my uh, theory that Odd Eyes Wizard Dragon was short, but I think I've pulled three alone in this box. And we've got Gaga Ga Magician for our super rare next. Very, very awesome. It, re it definitely does look cool. It stuck to the original Gaga Ga Magician art, but also kind of revamped it with just how it looks overall and Magician's Navigation. Oh, they're keeping me guessing. It's, it's the last pack for the final Ultra. That's definitely going to be a way to end this pack opening, but also if it's a well-known Ultra Rare. It's like I'm scared to open each pack just to see what it is. But that adds to half the fun as well. So can't wait to see if that is our option. Oh, there we go. And it is a Soul Servant. So they definitely do have those cards uh, short printed from what I saw. But still very, very cool. It's awesome support for the Dark Magician altogether as well. And we have a Magician of Dark Illusion. But we still got four more packs. So hopefully we can pull one more super at least and see how we do. Aqua Dolphin, got your got Samurai, Future Drive, and like I said previously, I can't wait to do the, all the different deck profiles from this box as well. Dark Magician Girl. Up to the time when I upload this video, might have already done a few. Uh, we might have also had a ban list by that time, hopefully soon. I know a lot of people are asking for it. We have a Performa Pal Celestial Magician for our probably last super and last pack. Let's see how we end this. Surprise me with that six ultra, even though I doubt it. Let's see how it ends. Nope, just with an Excel Synchron and a Magician of Dark Illusion. So definitely used up all my luck on the first box, but I'd still say it was a definitely fun box for sure with the pools and i hope you all enjoyed the opening as well definitely gonna be picking up some blister packs as well because my luck definitely does seem to uh, increase with those as well but until then please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and until next time kira twig out